Now but one, the death toll is climbing in the Middle East as Israel orders a total siege of Gaza in its war against Palestinians, the Palestinian militant group Hamas. Good afternoon. This is the KTLA 5 News at 1. I'm Glenn Walker. And I'm Lou Parker. Several Americans are said to be among those killed since the conflict began on Saturday. Our live team coverage continues this afternoon. Kimberly Chang has the latest developments and Raquel Martin is standing by in Washington, D.C. Let's first go to Kimberly live in the newsroom with the latest. Kimberly. Glenn Liu, at least nine American citizens have been killed in the Hamas attacks on Israel, according to the State Department, and it's not yet clear how many Americans remain missing. But yesterday, an official said there could be as many as 12. A warning, some of the images you'll see may be disturbing. Things are escalating. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu says Israel's offensive against Hamas in the Gaza Strip has only started. He delivered the statements in a televised address Monday and declared that what Israel will do to their enemies in the coming days will stay with them for generations. Also, the armed wing of the Palestinian militant group Hamas released audio warning that it would kill an Israeli hostage every time Israel's military attacks civilian targets in the Gaza Strip without warning. The Hostilities have killed around 900 people in Israel and more than 600 people in Gaza, authorities on each side told the Associated Press. Now, after breaking through Israeli barriers with explosives Saturday, an estimated 1,000 Hamas gunmen reportedly took aim at civilians and kidnapped people in towns along highways and at a music festival in the desert. Tamar Goldenberg is one of the missing festival goers. Her father went to the desert to search for her. Tamar's sister Mary Goldenberg spoke with News Nation. Also, a 22-year-old survivor says thousands were dancing in the desert when they saw rockets. Her boyfriend grabbed her hand and they ran for cover in a bush. Listen. I still don't know how many friends have I lost. I know that people that were left behind in the party the people who didn't run like me were murdered on the spot. She's a missing, maybe she's a kidnap, maybe she's hiding, maybe she's dead, we don't know nothing. I'm terrified now for the innocents in Gaza because they're about to face something terrible. Israel is going to go into Gaza and they're going to try to recover hostages and I'm sure the operation is going to be just awful for the people who live there. The Israeli government formally declared war Sunday. It increased airstrikes on the Gaza Strip in retaliation for the militant surprise attack over the weekend and sealed it off from food, fuel and other supplies. Meanwhile, the European Union has reversed an earlier announcement they're now saying they will not immediately suspend aid for Palestinian authorities and instead they will urgently review assistance. Reporting live in the newsroom, Kimberly Chang, KTLA 5 News.